Hello and welcome to Reinfuse. Today we are taking a look at CUG, otherwise known as Journey to Laughter, and that is on the Funtech Super Akan. The Funtech, if you don't know, is a Taiwanese console. Uh, quite rare because it uh, was quite expensive and there are all sorts of things about gaming in Chinese regions and somewhat in that time. And so it... Uh, didn't really sell particularly well. The games are even more <laughs> expensive and hard to get hold of. Uh, I now own two and that is by dint of a lot of work. Anyway, let's get past all this intro. Right, so this is a platformer and it's quite a tricky one as well. <laughs> I have not done well in it in the past. We will do a, a proper piece on the fun tech at some point. I should say the Akan, because they have done other stuff other than just uh, this console. Um, it's a fascinating console. It's, it has an unfair reputation of being a Super Nintendo ripoff because it looks a little bit like a Super Nintendo. But it's a very different piece of kit. It's based on the uh, Motorola 68000 for a start. is really hard. <laughs> well this is the first I ever got so <laughs> you see it's a very colorful game it's uh, lots, lots of nice animation nice uh, scrolling background some very strange characters We do get, uh, yeah, my capture device doesn't particularly like this machine, so sometimes it does just uh, change resolution on it, and yeah, it's not happy. How do I get on there? I mean, that's going to be tough. <laughs> it appears to be a run button. Anyway, yeah, so <laughs> we will cover the super account at some point. It's a fascinating machine. Um, yeah, it's like I was saying before I interrupted myself. It's has it unfairly gets the reputation of being a Super Nintendo clone because it does look a little bit like a Super Nintendo, but it's based on a different CPU. It's got its own graphics, its own games. Oh, pardon me. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Oh, and I've... <laughs> it is a tough game. <laughs> and I'm right back to the beginning again, aren't I? Yep. So, um, yeah, it's unfair. It's its own machine. And uh, I think it's quite a nice machine. It's got some nice graphics. Oh, I just... Okay, that time I literally just walked off the platform. There's a lot of character in them. There's a lot of really nice animation. The sound is nice as well. It's a, yeah, it's um, I think it's an interesting. Oh my word! If you don't hit the jump button at just the right moment, <laughs> all right, that's me dead. So we'll do one. We'll do one more. Yeah, if you don't hit the jump button at just the right time on those uh, web trampolines, then you just fall off the edge. You can be on them for one more, but then you'll get hit by the spires underneath. So yeah. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I think it would have been uh, it would have been quite uh, fascinating to see this do better in the world. Oh blimey! Although obviously, considering where it was from, whether it would have made it out into the world even if it had survived is, is another thing. But it's uh, it's an interesting console with its own very small impact on the market. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, if you land on the far right of those things, it did, you don't get hit by the spiders, so that's good to know. Oh, I jumped right into that one. But yeah, it's... um. I mean, in terms of the control, it's, it is quite, um, it's quite responsive. The controller is quite nice. The controller um, is kind of ripped off of the 
Oh my word. Oh. <laughs> the controller is uh, sort of ripped off of the Super Nintendo, I guess, with the colours, the layout and stuff. Um, but again, yeah, that's not that's not so un unsurprising, but it's um, it's yeah, it's not just a ripoff. It's it's got its own identity and its own hardware and its own games. Although a lot of these games did, oh. <laughs> a lot of these games did end up on other platforms in the end. So uh, there are quite a few of them that are available elsewhere to play. Um, yeah, but no, it's an interesting game, interesting machine. <laughs> I am not very good at it, but that's not going to surprise anyone that's watching any of my Let's Plays. But no, I think it's really nice. It's a very characterful game. It's tricky. It's definitely tricky, but I didn't feel like I died because it was massively unfair. I did feel like it had reached the limit of my ability and my reflexes, which is fine. It's, hard. it's fine if a game is hard because it's just hard, not because it's unfair. So yeah, um, hard to get a hold of. It is emulated, but not very well at the moment. Um, I imagine that will get better. I don't know if this game in particular is available anywhere else. I will put up a little bit of a note if uh, if it is. I did look it up and I've forgotten entirely what the answer was, so that was good. Um, yeah, I'll put it on the screen anyway if it is. But if it is, you should probably just try it out. It's not a, the greatest platformer ever, but it's definitely a lot of fun. Right. <laughs> well... Uh, hopefully the sound's alright by the way, because um, I stupidly loaned out all of my equipment to uh, a theatre company because they wanted to record the last uh, few days of their play and I didn't realise I wouldn't be getting it back by the weekend, which is when I record. So I'm having to use my streaming setup and I don't know how well this is going to work. Anyway. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit like. If you really enjoyed the video, please hit subscribe. If you didn't enjoy the video or you have something else to say, then please leave it in the comments below. See you next time.